clove hitch is useful for temporarily hanging a fender from a rail, attaching a line to a piling, or securing a spring line. To tie it on a rail, make two continuous loops and push the end of the line through the second loop. To tie it on a piling, perform the same actions in a vertical orientation. You can adjust the length of line on either side of a clove hitch without untying it. To tie it on a horizontal rod or rail, start by wrapping your line over the rod. Make a loop crossing over the working end. Continue to make a second loop and pass the end up through that loop. To tie it on a vertical pole or piling, start by making a loop around the pile crossing over the working end. Continue around the pile to make a second loop and put the end through that loop. Pull both ends to tighten. For the rail version, remember to cross the line on top of the first loop and slip the working end through the second loop. For the pole version, remember to continue wrapping the second loop over the first loop and again slip the working end through the second loop. When you see an X in the knot with the line coming straight out of both ends, you've done it right. The clove hitch is excellent for temporary attachments, but may slip if not pulled continuously and can bind on narrow lines. To use it for an extended period, secure the bitter end with two half hitches. It's easy to undo a clove hitch to replace it with a more permanent knot, or to move on from a temporary stay.